Hi guys, I'm Nakadarchan, and welcome to my reaction for One It Is Not Carte episode 22. So, we are kind of venturing more into One It Is Past, which is kind of interesting, but like the way they're doing it, can you leave One It Is Alone? Please? It still has like a lot of things to take in, especially the fact he just realized he's in love and he cannot compute that fact. Now, like, we're having this creepy little child putting both Noah and Dominic in Waddling them because he had some kind of beef with Juanitas because he killed their father. I just want to know what the hell is going on. Yeah. Ah, uh, I mean, Juanitas said something or we heard something that he did something in the past. Probably? I'm not exactly sure now. Yeah, I mean, obviously they were on good terms, but like, something bad could happen. And one of those was just like, had a decision to do something with that stuff which was happening. And I guess he decided to do something, and that decision this boy just doesn't like, apparently. But like, why you all in Noah and Dominic? They have nothing to do with that. Right? I mean, it can, ha it can have something to do with vampires. But still, they have nothing to do with that. Highly possible. Might be? Probably? Do Dominic, I don't know how long time ago it was. But still, she would probably be too young to be involved in the, all of that, what was happening. Yeah. <sighs> this little kid. Seriously. Why are you doing this? <laughs> and like, this is just... 22nd episode. There are only very few episodes left. So, this arc is not going to be very long. Hmm, so it's probably just like about showing a little bit more of one it has problems, but I can imagine they will like solve this problem so vastly that, I mean, they can, but it would be a little weird, right? Because that stuff with Chloe took a lot of time to solve, which I'm glad for, and it was probably even crazily more shortened for anime purposes in manga it's probably more detailed so like we'll see we'll see maybe this little kid is just saying hello to Wanitas to piss him off more in the future if there are going to be some seasons in the future so yeah i guess i'm going to start it right now oh my god why is this i keep forgetting Okay, so taking down his hair. Looks so cute, no matter what. <laughs> Misha. Yeah, nobody here kinda cares about it, I assume. I guess this is a time you wish you were dead. Okay. We heard about the uh, experiments, but like, not more detailedly. Just, I remember that episode which really was pretty gross. That dude was creepy as fuck. And I really felt grossed out by him. Creeped out. Yeah. And we could have really seen how much, like, PTSD one it is having from that. Okay, despite I do really love this opening, I'm going to skip it. 
Okay, that was too much. Oh, no, 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 here. Well, we're going to experience that person again, lovely. The subject is too young. Do you really think he cares? We can bring the next job. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a person who really cares. Link. I don't think he's a, he has a power to do so. I think he's like glad he's able to kinda be surviving. Oh. Interesting. I guess maybe he was hoping he would get a little bit better because of it. Maybe he really felt sad for this kid. That's crazy. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> No. Okay, cool. Mm. Books. Yeah. Books. So there is a multiple. Oh, that's the thing they have inside of them. That's impressive. Yeah, we heard that. So that was his experiment. That's why they're able to do that. Hmm. And he was trying to do experiments, so he would be able to, like, open it because of these kids. Yeah. Yeah. He's basically preparing them for it. But it seems like it has consequences. Oh. Yeah, like you don't know what that can do with you. Mm hmm. So that's why they were able to survive that. Yeah, like, but what they are, what, what the consequences are. Hmm, because they are not normal human anymore. It's like humans with a little bit of vampire powers. That's pretty crazy. This dude. Yeah, I can feel that. This dude. Might. <laughs> Might. Ah, what a mad scientist. 
He's creepy, but kind of enjoyable how evil he is. So it was him doing that. Okay, I like didn't know what kind of experiments was he doing. But it makes sense now. Oh. But someone interfered. They were saved. We know that, right? This must be so crazy. Okay, this person. I would say yes. There are always people like this. Yeah, I mean, they kind of deserve it. True, that would probably happen. Poor little kid, it doesn't have anyone else <laughs> been thrown into all of this. He must be so confused. Hmm, I guess he was very dependable on the master. <laughs> I don't like this person, the voice is very beautiful, kind of soothing. No. What else is there to do, right? That's kind of big opportunity. Okay. So crash the party and take the children. Okay, <laughs> he just wants to run away from that place. I'm not really surprised. Horrible, horrible place. The voice down. Yeah. And to kind of sweep everything under the rug. Please can get out because we would be the problem. This kid is so enthusiastic after all of what has happened, but he wasn't there for very long. When it does was there longer, so he probably been through more. No name. Interesting. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. How old? Is he a man? Sounds like a woman. What it is is not having much fun. There is more. Yeah, I mean, we we heard stuff. But it makes sense, like, if one doesn't know some stuff, he would probably think that. Oh, 
No, this is so much where everyone does. He had some history even before all of this. <laughs> it's too much for him. So, he is the father? He sounds so much like a woman. <laughs> Maybe because that's soft spoken wise. <clears throat> no, no. Very beautiful. Well, there might be a reason. I mean, yeah, they are kind of working with weird stuff. He's so cute, Mikhail. How can he become so creepy? Does he even remember? Yeah, there seems to be some interesting history. Why not? You probably wanted to meet her at some point. That's natural for a child, even if you never met her. That's a very natural thing. For one, it has been through so much. Master is so beautiful. <laughs> when it does. Asking a lot of personal stuff. Lady, sir, I don't know, hard to tell. Oh, two letters. Oh. Oh, interesting. Yeah, very bold move. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> the same I thought. Hmm. Hmm. He was growing with a guilt even from such a young age. That makes sense why he hated Wimpars and attacked. Funny, especially what he's doing right now. Hmm. That's why he was so aroused when he heard um, he had one part blood in him. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't want anyone else to suffer. He went through that kind of when he was a uh, way little. 
because he was given he was living with the guilt of his mother dying and just idea of someone else going through some horrible things because of him would be too much on top of all of that yeah that was very personal questions <laughs> <clears throat> So beautiful. Yeah, and he's been living with all of this. Jim, want to guess? You need some counseling and help. <laughs> A lot of help. But Mikhail, he's so cute. But if the master is the father, one it has killed. It makes sense because he seems to be kind of <laughs> dependent on him from the first moment he saw the master. If that is what I think it is. Well. Maybe we should do it on our own. Sir lady, you are not a very good cook, aren't you? Please kill me. Thanks for my effort. Trying a lot, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. Damn, when it does, you have some skills. Damn. Damn, when it does. Who are you, waifu? When it says his waifu confirmed. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking, so, yeah, but they are not, that is the problem, they're not even a half vampires. And they will die, makes sense. <laughs> it must be horrible to live, like, with... This kind of predicament. Well, everyone dies. One way. Hmm. Hmm. I don't exactly know how it works. I mean, understandable, despite Master really caring for them. So no, I saw all of this. Well, that was some story. Who oh, was pissed? Well, there were people pissed. No, I came in pissed. Well, it just came in pissed. Jesus Christ, chill, people. <clears throat> okay, so that is all. Yeah, seems that is all.
Yeah. Okay, I really like this. We learned more about one it does and this little creepy kid who was so cute back then. But yeah, he seemed to be very dependable on the master. And if one it has killed him, it makes sense that he would be mad at him. Yeah. So did that kid became part of the that clan vampires of a blue moon or how they are called? Because he didn't seem to be much older, but it probably but like he could still look similar ish. One it doesn't look that much older either, so different people age differently. So we'll see. But yeah, because the vampires of a uh, blue moon are cursed and they're kind of like, you know, uh, hunted by the vampires too. So like these little human kids would have it even worse. I guess that's why he did not want to do that. I love his soft-spoken voice. So beautiful. The master is beautiful, one it has, I guess. Very, very beautiful person. I like him. I guess it's him? I don't know. <laughs> they call him father, so I'm going to call him a him. <laughs> Even though he has a very female age appearance, very beautiful. Yeah, so he basically saved them. And because Mikael asked to take them, so he took them and took care of them. Yeah, but because of their predicament, they probably are not going to live very long. Which sucks. I mean, there might be other way how to save them, right? Even without, like, turning them into vampires or something like that, or what he was exactly talking about. So how many, like, the books are there? We said to are there more or something? But it really makes sense why Vanitas was the way he was. Because, like, he's been through a lot. Since he was a little kid, he's been living with a guilt. Then his father like protected him and died because of a one powers so he was kind of like very pissy about it and he got experimented even though he thought he's going to be chaos or killing one powers so yeah that, that is not going to be very happy for you then a wimpar saved them they also got a wimpar blood in them so yeah that would also not very make you happy because if you hate vampires and that stuff is happening, yeah, that makes that would make you kind of hate yourself. I assume what kind of he was going through, and like he didn't mind Master taking care of them. He saved them, so he was grateful. But he still couldn't let that hate go away because of what happened. Yeah, like it's it's not that easy. He would rather die than just like being turned into one of the, their clan, which is like understandable. There was a war with vampires, and people hate vampires. That's like natural, right? Is it okay? No, because I don't think all the vampires deserve it, but it's a natural thing. And there's a long way to heal for both sides to kind of start trusting each other again and not kill each other and this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's a very long way. Yeah, like when it was when it was true quite a lot. But he thought Mikhail died, so what exactly happened and why when it has killed the father? What was the trick there? What was the trick there? And now Mikhail just came back to haunt him. <laughs> Perfect. Like, one, it just doesn't have enough PTSD to kind of live with, right? Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I do really, really understand why is one, it does the person he is. There is a lot of self-love thing. Yeah. He thinks he doesn't deserve people to be nice to him. That's, like, he even said that. So he's actively pushing them away from him. That's why he's such a jerk. Okay. Okay, I'm glad it makes sense. It makes tons of sense. That is like very nice psychology put in there. Really cool. Usually 
you don't see that well done in the stories, but like what one it has been through, it makes absolute sense why he is the way he is, why he thinks in a way he thinks. Like, absolute, absolute sense. And I like it. it I, I do really like it. It, it. it like makes his character very deep. It like deepens his character quite a lot. He's not just a jerk for the sake of being a jerk. Though I also saw like all of this. I assume most of it. So, ho ho. Yeah, that is going to be interesting. I guess no one is now going to understand what it is more. That is good. Actually, very good. We kinda can work with that, right? To kinda help when it has to heal. I mean, if he is destined to die kinda soon, at least he needs some kind of healing before that happens. Which, the fact what Noah has said that he killed when it has, I guess, now makes sense actually. Maybe Juanitas wanted Noah to kill him, so he would not suffer anymore, like more, with his predicament. I mean, if that is the case, that would make sense, that he trusted Noah so much, and he cared for him so much that he wanted him to kill him, or something like that. So I'm going to give this episode 7.5 out of a 10. And now what it does is going to deal with his uh, little brother from the past. Can he deal with him with uh, in such a short amount of time? I don't think so, but like there can be more in the second season if it will ever happen. And if it is, if like that will never happen, there is still a manga, <laughs> right? I would definitely be interested in the details of a manga because these details might do a lot and even though I am enjoying the characters quite a lot I feel like there is a little bit more of spice missing if you know what I mean so maybe manga has that spice which would make me enjoy it even more there is too many things though <laughs> to read because of things I watched, but yeah, <laughs> like watching Vanitas is like psychological assessment, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but I do really enjoy it, <laughs> right? Seeing like all these traumatic events and stuff happening to him, and like kind of putting things together and understanding his psychological profile or something like that like the way he is done the way he acts and stuff yeah i did not expect that actually but it's fun when like movies the books tv shows manga anime do it i personally enjoy that so that is really cool a pretty good job for the author yeah so i guess that's all goodbye and see you next time